trying a new bag today. Another new bag. This one's what you'd call a man bag. <laughs> but it been out a few times with it and find it quite a useful bag. It's uh, mainly for day hikes, just for walking, taking out the minimum amount of uh, equipment. But it's yeah, it's quite useful. It's meant to be carried at the back towards the back so it doesn't hinder your walking. But it's one when you can just swivel round and access any pocket. It's got numerous pockets, which is a good feature about this one bag. A lot of these bags in the market, the reason I chose this one is the amount of pockets it's got. It seems to have more pockets than uh, the other ones. Got a main one at the top. The ideal keeping your knife and your saw in there. It's a nice, long, thin pocket. Also keep my compass in there. Got two pockets on the side. One for my book knife. The other one for my uh, Leatherman. Open it up. Got two front pockets. Nice size front pockets. Only got in the pan holder in there. Then you got your main pocket, which is accessed by a, a zip. In there you've got your usual things for a day hike. Sit mat, tarp, some food, hammock chair, a couple of pans, fire lighting kit, and water in a cup. But inside it's got pockets as well, it's got two, two pockets on this side. Paracord, lids for the pans, mobile phone, and another zip pocket on this side just for I keep my my tea and drinks, soup and spoons in there. Just got another pocket at the back, zip pocket, just a small pocket just for keeping bits and bobs in. I've utilised the the handle as well, he's got a, all bags have little extensions, something you can tighten it up, but notice if you can make a loop in there, put your raincoat in, put it back in, just tighten it up, so you can carry your coat outside of your bag, it takes up less room, well, then it's not going to fall out then is it? The quality's not too bad. I mean, you're only, say, only £25 from Amazon. The zips seem pretty good quality. Leather on there. Velcro fasteners. Magnetic. Little clips. Seem reasonably strong. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, the make of the bag's not important. It's, a, it's the style of bags. Just easily accessible. Just lightweight. Canvas is nice quality, semi water resistant, but hard wearing. Yeah, it's nice to come out with just a minimum amount of kit. Just my, got my bike, my camera, and a monopod, which is quite useful in itself. Keeps your camera steady, and it's nice to have a walk, it's a walking pole. Keep you upright when you're walking through the woods. A lot of brambles are tripping over. But yeah, it's nice to have this. In the last video I did a demonstration of how much wood you need to boil a kettle on a, on a wood stove so I'm just going to try this time how much wood you need on a normal conventional fire. So I'm going to try that one. I won't show you me cutting it all up, I'll just show you the results. So. But again it's, it's not much matter wood. The only thing I've done different this time is made the pieces a bit, a bit longer and a bit thinner to create a bit of height on the fire. But again the same amount of wood so not not a lot really. So I'm going to boil boil some water this time in a in a pan with a lid. Same idea as a kettle, but I just wanted to save a bit of space in my bag, so I've just kept got one pan. The 
heat's rising, but it's not as not as good as a stove. It's getting there. All I've done is put four wooden pegs on each side of the uh, the grill, just to lift the pan directly over the heat. The lid's helping to keep the heat in. It'll soon be boiling. It takes a little bit longer, but it's boiling. I boiled enough water for a cup of tea. I've still got a bit of wood left. It's not as good as a stove. Because you lose a lot of heat from the side, whereas a stove, the heat goes straight up. But it's boiling well, so it's a sec second pot of water. So I'm just going to heat some rice through now and add some sauce. What I have found is these, the Sharwood sauces have started selling a, it's a uh, smaller size, perfect size for, a, for one pot of rice that. So I'm going to heat my tilde rice up and add some uh, Sharwood sauce. Ideal snack. Spicy, <laughs> with a kick to it, it's nice, nice taste that.